All right. Well, today I wanted to talk about how to spot a gold digger. So besides women that marry billionaires or oil tycoons or a young girl holding hands with a very old man, what are some ways to tell when a woman is a gold digger? Over the years, I've had a good amount of dating experience as I've made more money and I've been around a fair amount of wealthier people. So this is a combination of my own experiences as well as the experiences of other guys that I've known. I will be covering the common ways to tell if a woman is a gold digger and some of the more subtle ways, as well as the environments you may encounter a gold digger, so make sure you stay until the end. Also, I wanted to say men can also be gold diggers, but in this video I will focus on women. One of the easiest ways to spot a gold digger is to go to the bars and lounges and five-star hotels in your city. A lot of the time they will be sitting at the bar dressed to the nines and she'll be looking around for rich men that are in the vicinity. Now, these will be hotels like the Four Seasons or the Ritz-Carlton. They'll usually be with one or a few of their girlfriends who will also be dressed to the nines. They go to these high-end lounges because they know rich men will be there and they will have a better chance of meeting them at these places. One of the dead giveaways will be the way they're dressed. Their makeup and outfit will look extremely put together. They'll usually have expensive purses with them as well. Usually you'll see Hermes, Chanel, Gucci, Fendi, Christian Dior, Batiga Veneta, and Tom Ford. These are the ones that I've seen the most frequently. A lot of gold diggers at high-end lounges don't exactly scream gold digger and honestly come off as more subtle. They usually be drinking a glass of wine or a cocktail most of the time. And if they're interested in you and they think you have money, they will smile subtly and make eye contact with you a few times. Depending on how close you are to them in terms of proximity to their seat at the bar, they may actually strike up a casual conversation. Uh, not all women who go to high-end lounges are gold diggers, though. Sometimes the lounge may have like really good food in some instances, so this isn't a foolproof method. Also, if you're some guy who makes like 40k a year and you try going to a high-end lounge with your suit you found off the rack at JCPenney and your fossil watch, they'll be able to tell you don't have money. <laughs> These types of women, they have a sixth sense at sniffing out who is wealthy and who isn't. So it's not even like you can really dress the part um, when you're not wealthy, they're gonna be able to tell. Most wealthy people don't dress very flashy, but these women can still tell when a guy has money. But sometimes it'll be the type of watch the guy is wearing. Let's just say he's wearing like a Petit Philippe or a Rolex, then they'll be able to tell this guy has some money. Other times it will be the women just recognizing that this guy is regular at these lounges that kind of gives it away that he's wealthy. You know, if a man has been a regular for a certain period of time, this will kind of cue the women that they're wealthy. The next way to spot a gold digger is in nightclubs. In my experience, there are kind of two kinds of gold diggers that you will encounter in a nightclub. There is the loud flashy type and the very well-dressed subtle type. Depending on where your table is located within the club, it will be more expensive, especially the tables that are closest to the DJ booth or on the dance floor. So if you buy a table in a nightclub in one of these locations just mentioned, you will almost undoubtedly have women approach your table, especially if you're buying a more expensive bottle. Now, typically gold diggers will know approximately how much that specific bottle costs at that club, and they'll try to join the tables of men that are buying these more expensive bottles. Now, this is still very nuanced because not every girl who hops from table to table is a gold digger. Um, some of them are just, you know, trying to have fun and, you know, maybe they're in that, in that particular city for one night and they're just trying to have a good time. But you'll tend to find more of the gold digger type bouncing from table to table, drinking their alcohol and just getting the benefit of like a comfier spot in the club and being in that scene. And typically once the alcohol is gone, um, these types of girls will typically move on unless they find you very attractive. So now the loud flashy gold diggers will usually be very aggressive and they'll usually have, um, you know, very expensive bags. They'll typically be the ones to approach the table and say something like, Hey guys, what are you drinking? Or something like, let's get a bottle of something. The dead get a giveaway is if they seem more interested in the bottle or the table, the specific table that you're sitting at than you as a person. This is a pretty telltale sign. Usually the loud flashy type will be, you know, they'll be on their phones. They'll be taking Snapchats. They'll be taking Instagram stories. N not all of them are gold diggers, but the loud flashy ones tend to 
be doing a lot of this. Whereas the more subtle ones, you know, they'll give you repeated eye contact from afar and they'll usually await you to approach them or give them a sign to come over to the table when you have one. They'll typically have more of like a quieter, somewhat sweet, more innocent vibe. And they'll usually still be dressed well, but they're not as flashy. Like their makeup, their dress will be more put together most of the time than like more the loud, flashier one. Um, these girls will still drink your alcohol, but it won't be as obvious. Like if you, if they believe you to be very wealthy, you know, they'll sit and get to know you a little bit because they want to see you again. And, you know, they view you as someone that will give them these types of experiences a lot going forward. Now, the next instance is in the workplace, particularly in corporate America, where there are various positions within a company. So as someone who has started at the very bottom and moved my way up through many different roles, I can say that some women will start to show more direct interest once you are in a position that earns more money. So this is definitely not foolproof, um, but in my experience, there will be women that will strike up conversations in the hallway, maybe when you're going, about, you're going to the bathroom. Sometimes it'll be in the break room where the coffee machine is, and other times it'll you know, be at workplace happy hours, but the women will see that you are in a higher position and over time, they're going to find subtle ways to approach you in the places I mentioned, but sometimes they'll even find excuses to come by your cubicle to ask certain questions or tell you something random. Um, they'll try to find any convenient excuse to talk to you. And it's interesting, but this happens usually from women that are not in as high of a position as you are when they probably wouldn't be pursuing you if you were in their in their specific role and this is so subtle and nuanced that you actually need to experience it for yourself like as an example if a girl is you know there may be girls who find you physically attractive and you know you're in the same role as them and they may do these things they may come up to your cubicle um, but then there are other times where let's just say you're not that attractive physically and, you know, you, there's there's a girl or a woman that is just kind of out of your league on a physical looks level. But because you're in a higher position, they kind of make themselves semi available to you. And it's a way for them to either move up or to kind of take advantage of your, you know, your, your status in, the, in that company to get certain benefits. The next place to spot a gold digger is in an upscale shopping mall. Now, this could be Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills, or this could be, you know, the shops in the Wynn in Las Vegas. These are just some pure examples where you could, you know, kind of spot one. Women who frequent upscale shopping malls, you know, not all of them are going to be the gold digger type, but they're more likely to be the gold digger type in my experience. Uh, a lot of these women will be dressed very well, uh, very well put together. Um, their makeup's usually on point. There's nothing usually about them that, you know, is extremely loud and flashy most of the time, you know, and also they, most of the time they won't be wearing brand name logos unless it's on their, on their bag. You know, it, it's definitely interesting. Uh, a lot of these women in upscale shopping malls, they don't scream, look at me, I'm a gold digger. But if you really look and, you know, see how they're dressed, see how they're put together, see how they kind of walk. Um, you can spot it pretty quickly. In terms of dating, um, there are many ways to tell if they're a gold digger and they're after you for just your money. So gold diggers usually do a lot of research on guys well before meeting them to tell if you're wealthy. A lot of gold diggers don't want to waste their time with guys who don't have a lot of money. So um, a lot of times older women and also younger women will look at your LinkedIn profile, they'll Google your name, and see if they're able to find out what your position is. And a lot of gold diggers, they know exactly how much most professions make. So if they're able to figure out what you do based on your LinkedIn profile or based on, you know, Facebook um, or some other social media site, and figure out exactly what your position is, they can kind of do that research and they have a good idea of what your, your salary could be. Now, this isn't always the case because sometimes they won't be able to find your information, especially if you don't work in corporate America or if you do something more entrepreneurial where you have your own business, and your own small business or inter like business online. The younger ones will also try to look you up on LinkedIn, 
you know, they'll look at your lifestyle on Instagram, they'll look you up on Facebook. And what they try to do before meeting up with you is they try to see what your lifestyle is and kind of glean hints from your profiles to kind of gauge um, how wealthy you are, how often you travel. You know, if they see you on Instagram and you're, you're, con- you're constantly putting up travel photos of you in Europe or in cool locations, you know, they may see this as, you know, hey, this guy makes a lot of money. He's traveling the world. You know, let me, let me go on a date with this guy. Let me, I'll, I'll let him take me to dinner. And also on the first date, some gold, gold diggers will ask more subtle questions. Like most will ask very subtle questions about your profession, particularly around what you do and what position you work in. Most of them won't directly ask you what car you drive or how much your salary is. But there are some that will actually. Like I don't know if you, you guys saw the video with Sophia Franklin um, where she admitted that she asked guys to see their bank account on the first date. I found this hilarious and I actually kind of, I don't necessarily respect it, but I, I, I mean, she's jumping right to the point. You know, she wants to, she wants to be with a wealthy guy. And the, the fault in this is, is like most wealthy men aren't going to keep a lot of money in their bank account. You know, they're going to have the vast majority of their money in, in their brokerage account. <laughs> and if, if guys, uh, like I said, both wealthy, most wealthy guys, they're not going to keep a lot of money in their bank account. Um, especially if it's like a traditional savings or checkings accounts when um, interest rates are much higher in a money market fund. <laughs> Another dead giveaway is where they agree to go on a date with you. So if they only want to go to high-end lounges or restaurants with you, I hate to tell it, buddy, but they probably just like you for your money and not who you are. You know, if a girl really likes you, she'll go, she'll go for a walk in the park with you. She'll go get ice cream with you. You know, she'll go apple picking with you. It doesn't matter. She's going on a hike. If a woman only wants to meet meet up with you in a five star restaurant, sorry, man, she's after your money. A gold digger will also expect gifts a lot. Um, this isn't always like, you know, fancy vacations or you know, five star dining, but this could be necklaces, earrings, handbags, dresses. Stays at fancy hotels like the Ritz Carlton or the Four Seasons, but she'll always be saying things like, oh, "I wish I had this bag," or "Hey, I wish we could go here." Like, you know, I think like we'd have such a great time. And it's it's funny because it's always places like Turks and Caicos, Greece, Monaco, Switzerland. You get the point. Like very expensive like locations around the world. Another dead giveaway is let's just say you're a guy and you pretended to be wealthy by buying a nice suit and a nice watch, but you're living paycheck to paycheck. Or let's just say you actually are a wealthy guy, but you live a very modest lifestyle. You know, you have a small apartment or a small condo, you drive like a Toyota and she finally sees your car and she sees your place. And all of a sudden she doesn't want to see you after that. Hate to say it, bud, but she was probably only there for your money and didn't like you for you. A uh, woman is, who is after a man with money would not continue to talk to a guy that just doesn't have nice things. I was once on a date with a girl years ago who said that she she literally said she swiped right on me for my job title at the time on Bumble. She wasn't joking. Like It was pretty brutal to hear in real time. Um, like I said, most gold diggers are pretty subtle, but some are up front and they don't even hide it. Gold diggers also like to use positive and negative reinforcement. They're experts at this. Like they'll be really nice to a man when he gives her gifts or takes her to fancy restaurants or fancy trips. Um, they'll treat you like you're the man, like you're the king, and you know they'll act like they're in love with you when you do things like that. But when you're not spending a lot of money on them, they'll tend to you know not treat you as well. They may act rude. They may act, they may act very cold towards you. They may not respond to your text for a day or two. It's very hot and cold with women that are gold diggers. It's, you know, when you're when you're spending money on them, you know, they treat you like you're the you're the king of the castle. And when they're you're not spending money on them, they treat you like dirt. It's pretty hot and cold, and I think a lot of guys will agree with me there. The last and most obvious one would be if she's out of your league. I hate to say it, um, if a woman is out of your league and much more attractive than you on a looks level, but just seems to be so interested in you, especially when you're dressed well or you're showing money or status in some way. She probably likes you for your money 
and not your personality. Now, there are probably other ways, but these are ways I've either seen or experienced at some point in my life. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. Feel free to comment down below ways you spot a gold digger. And feel free to subscribe. Until next time, take care.